everyone, my name is Sarah, I am one half of the YA room and I cannot believe that we are more than halfway through 2018. Where has the year gone? Like honestly, I'm shook. I swear last week it was January and like yesterday it was February and I just, I cannot deal with it anymore. Like time is going too fast, please slow down. But this year has gone really fast for me because I have been super, super busy. I have two internships at Radis Victoria and the Melbourne Radis Festival. I have a bazillion part-time jobs that I can't even keep track of. I'm in my second year of uni studying professional communications. I'm making YouTube videos. I have a blog. I'm doing stuff for the YA room. Everything is happening. But I just wanted to take five minutes out of my life to reflect on my year so far as a part of the YA room. I feel like this year has been super successful for us. I'm so proud of what Alex and I have achieved. And yeah, I want to share that with you. This year, Alex and I have been lucky enough to host so many amazing book launches. And honestly, we are so honored that authors trust us enough to launch their book out into the world. The first book launch we hosted this year was the Obsidio launch written by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I know you've all heard me rave about how much I love this series before, but I'm just gonna say it again. It is one of my all-time favorite series. I love it to pieces. Aiden, yes, love space, love all the characters. Katie, Hannah, Ezra, oh my God, all of them. <laughs> I adore them. And Jay and Amy are such a dynamic duo. I love their presence. They're always there in the Melbourne bookish community at launches and events and it's great and we can claim them as our own and I just love them both to pieces. Hosting the Obsidio launch was such an amazing experience. It was held at the State Library of Victoria and we had like over a hundred guests which was amazing. Alex and I were up on stage being in conversation with Jay and Amy and they were just so lovely and it was just such an incredible experience. Experience and definitely one of my bookish highlights of all time. The next book launch that we were lucky enough to host was Carolyn Denman's Sympath launch, which is the third book in her series. Again, it's so amazing to be able to support Love Oz YA authors. We adore them. We just give our heart and soul to them because they are who makes us at the YA room who we are. Without an amazing Australian bookish community, we would not be here. And it's all thanks to the support of publishers and authors and readers and bloggers and everyone. And it's just so amazing to be a part of that. And the next launch that we were lucky enough to host was Mercy Point, written by Anna Snow Extra, which happened to be our July book of the month. While I personally wasn't able to be at the launch because I was away, I heard it went brilliantly. Alex was there to take the hosting reins. She did an amazing job. Yes, Alex, love you, thank you. And again, love us YA, I love it to pieces. It's so great to support it. I loved Mercy Point. Oh my God, that twist at the end, don't even get me started. It's just a phenomenal novel and you should definitely pick it up if you haven't already. But as well as hosting some really incredible book launches this year, we also had our first ever YA day. Oh my god, it went so well. In case you didn't know, YA day was a massive event we held at the end of January this year. We had four panels, 13 guest panelists, over 80 attendees held at the Wheeler Center. It was just so good. It, oh my god, I'm speechless. I'm still so shook about that day. We spent months and months planning it and formulating panels and panelists and who would go with what and it just all turned out perfectly without a hitch and we could not be more proud of ourselves. If you came along, thank you so much. You're one of the people who made that event possible. We're really hoping to do another YA day in 2019. So if that is something you're keen on, let us know, leave a comment, tweet at us, everything. We want to hear your support so we can make it happen again. But additionally to all the events we've held, we've also had six amazing books of the month and I'm just so incredibly shook that I've loved every single one of them. Honestly, this year has been my year of reading. I have loved like 99% of the books I've read and that just makes me so happy and I just, I'm so pleased to be able to read what I want to read and to be able to try new genres and try new books I haven't tried before. And it's just been an amazing reading year. As we had our YA day in January, our first book of the month was in February, and for that one we read Love, Hate and Other Filters by Samira Ahmed. What an incredible novel. I just loved it to pieces. Love, Hate and Other Filters is a book about religion and family, and of course it has one of the cutest romances. I could not get enough of it. I just loved it. 
I am such a massive supporter for diversity in books, so it was so great to see characters that are not normally given the spotlight highlighted in love, hate, and other filters. It was just such an enjoyable book from start to finish, and I cannot wait to read more of what Samira writes. And next up, our March book of the month was... The Bells by Danielle Clayton. I absolutely loved The Bells. I know we had mixed opinions at our book meet when we discussed The Bells, but I could not get enough of this story. Oh my gosh, it was perfection. The Bells is a story about a group of girls who are given the ability to be able to manipulate their looks and manipulate the looks of others. They are called The Bells. The Bells are really prestigious and highly respected in society, however Camilla soon finds that the reality of her situation is not as amazing as she once thought it would be. There is a really sinister undertone to her society and reading all about that was just so much fun. I loved it. I need the second book in my life right now. I just, ugh. Oh, this book was so good. Oh, definitely one of my favorite reads of 2018. The next book we read was The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. R. Pan. Again, this was a novel that was getting really hyped online, so I was so excited to dive into it, and thankfully I loved it just as much as I hoped I would. This book is about grief and family and learning about yourself and more about the people around you, and it was just such a beautiful, heartwarming read. I loved the symbolism and the metaphors of the birds and the feathers, and I also loved the amounts of culture that was in this novel. Everything about this book is amazing. I just highly recommend you pick it up. If you haven't already, you will not regret it. And next up, our May book of the month was... I Was Born For This by Alice Oseman. As you'll know, Alice Oseman is one of my all-time favorite authors. I love her to pieces, and her latest novel did not disappoint. I Was Born For This follows two main characters, Angel and Jimmy. Angel is a fangirl of The Ark, and Jimmy is The Ark's lead band member. Alice has done it again. She always writes such poignant, heartwarming, heart-wrenching reads, and I Was Born For This is everything I hoped it would be. I'm just forever flailing about this novel. And then my June book of the month was one of my most anticipated reads of 2018, and that was... Paper Furies, A Thousand Perfect Notes. Who hasn't heard of this book? Oh my gosh, it has been everywhere. Our favorite blogger, Kate, published a book and it's phenomenal and I am never gonna stop screaming about it. A Thousand Perfect Notes is a book about music and family and friendship and it will just stab you in the heart and won't stop stabbing you even after you turn the final page. I've read it three times now. It's just so good. It's gonna be one of my favorites of all time. I'm just gonna keep rereading it so I can experience all the feels all over again, have Kate stab me because that's what she does best and I will just thank her for it. A Thousand Perfect Notes follows the life of Beck, who is a teen pianist forced to play the piano by his mother, who was once a really, really famous musician. It is about the abuse that he suffers from his mother, his little sister Joey, who is just adorable, and this really persistent friend called August, who will not leave him alone. A Thousand Perfect Notes is just such a perfect novel, and you have to add it to your TBR if you haven't read it already. And finally, our July book of the month is Mercy Point by Anna Snow Extra, which is a book that we were lucky enough to launch. I'm always so excited when Love Oz YA novels are chosen as our book of the month because I love supporting Aussie authors, so Mercy Point was such a delightful pick. I went into this book expecting it was just going to be another mystery thriller novel, kind of like Fleur Ferris or Sarah Epstein, but what I got was very surprising and took a completely different turn to what I expected. This is a book that will keep you on the edge of your seat. I was constantly wanting to know what happened. It's about a group of teens who suddenly find out something that throws them all together and then they have to work out what is really the truth, who's lying to them, and what this means and who they really are. The last few chapters of this book are like, whew, that was one of the most surprising endings I've ever read. I'm not going to say anything, you just have to launch in and read it for yourself. You are warned, this is one heck of a novel. I just loved it. 
So yes, these are our books of the month so far for 2018. I have loved all of our selections. I just have had such an amazing time co-hosting the YA Room this year so far. I'm so excited for all of our upcoming events. It's going to be brilliant. And yeah, I cannot wait to see what the rest of 2018 will hold. But that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Have you read any of our books of the month? If so, which one has been your favorite? And and which one do you hope we will choose in upcoming months? I would love to hear your thoughts. Bye everyone!